Does it like being down in L.A. again? <laughs> uh, I, the sun was nice, the warmth. Uh, got to go down uh, Venice a little bit, get some good dinner, and walk the pier. Um, you know, I mean, being back in L.A. and on UCLA's campus, uh, obviously it's a special place for me, and I have some good memories there. But um, really proud of our team on Thursday night. I mean, we played a very good UCLA team toe-to-toe -to -toe and created chances and um, got a goal back after uh, giving up one really quickly, and, and that was fun to see how we responded. Um, so it was nice. I mean, bittersweet for Sunday, but... Um, you know, we come back home, and it's great to be home in front of our home crowd. What was it like playing in that new stadium? What was that atmosphere like? How was the pitch? What's your overall takeaway there? I, you know, NAF was our practice field when I was there, so I'm pretty familiar with that stadium. But they did a good job with it. Um, you know, I, I think they have some more plans to add to it. But the pitch was great. It was a fast field, uh, exactly what we like. Um, it was a fast game. It was fun. If you were a college soccer fan or just a soccer fan in general, you would have enjoyed that game. Melissa said Jazz meant to shoot that on the goal. <laughs> was that your impression too? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, we, we got to find a way to score. And I think anyone that can step up. But what I really liked was we're very good when our outside backs get forward. And we have proven that time in and time in that when our outside backs attack, and we overload teams, we are able to create chances and goal-scoring opportunities. And so with Jazz flying down the flank, I think she was just so mad that the goal that we gave up, and that's the passion, and that's what we need our players to play with, um, is just that confidence. And she, I, I, think, I think it's a shot. She saw the goalkeeper a little bit off her line, and she went for it, and awesome, awesome job by Jazz. What happened on Sunday? You know, give credit to where credit's due. USC is a very good team. Uh, there's a reason why they're number two in the country. And, you know, that's a Final Four team. And um, Kadani Alpine does a great job down there with the players. But I, I thought they played a little bit more hungry. Um, they wanted it. Uh, they were a bit more aggressive, uh, first to the ball. We were just a little bit on our heels. And I think anytime you get punched in the nose right off the bat, you kind of – buckle your knees a little bit and I think it might have been another oh no not again situation um, when you look back uh, you you know UCLA would give up a goal a real quick goal um, and so you know uh, we'll take it we, we were able to play some different you know faces down there and get different people in the game um, give some experience to some younger players um, but now our focus is uh, or, you know are the Sun Devils what are you seeing out of the Sun Devils they're good. They're good. They've, they've uh, you know, switched up their formation a little bit. They've got um, international players up top that are dangerous. Uh, one that's coming off an injury and just got healthy this past weekend. So, um, you know, it's going to be a good tactical match. They, they like to play soccer. They like to move the ball around. I think it'll be fun um, for a soccer enthusiast to see two teams, you know, trying to tactically, you know, outsmart another. Um, but I think player for player, if we show up like we did against UCLA and Stanford, um, we have the ability to beat any team in the country. How about Zoe playing on the wing a little bit in that one? How did you uh, assess her performance? I, you know, she's a very good finisher, and she's good around the box. And we wanted, um, you know, we're not scoring goals, and so we're trying to find a way to create goals. So we wanted her closer to the goal. And, you know, Nicole Siemens been playing really well in our midfield, and so um, – it was an easy switch for us to push her up top. And, you know, we have Eden Hardy coming off the bench and Jess Yu coming off the bench. Um, hopefully we'll see Marissa on Thursday. And, um, you know, so Kira Fawcett also has done a good job. She's healthy, thank goodness. Um, so we'll have her coming in and making an impact for us.